What if I told you? The smartphone war just changed forever. Not because of a new camera, not because of a bigger screen, but because for the first time, the AI that once lived in giant data centers is now sitting quietly in your pocket. This isn't science fiction. This isn't about the future. This is happening right now. Google just dropped the Pixel 10, and it's not just another phone. It's a statement, a warning, a glimpse of a world where your phone doesn't just follow commands, it thinks alongside you. Some people are calling it the most important Pixel ever. Others say it might be the first phone that feels more like a partner than a device. So, what exactly makes the Pixel 10 so different? And why should you care? Let's dive in. When Google first entered the smartphone game, they were chasing giants. Apple, Samsung, titans that already ruled the market. For years, Pixel phones had great cameras, clean software, but they always felt like the underdog. But with the Pixel 10, something changed. This phone doesn't just compete with iPhones and Galaxies. It brings a weapon no one else has, a custom AI brain, the Tensor G5 chip, built with Google DeepMind. And here's the shocker. This chip doesn't just make your apps run faster, it's designed to run Gemini Nano, Google's most advanced AI model, on the device itself. That means instant answers. That means total privacy. That means AI that works, even when you're offline. And the AI features Google packed inside this phone? Honestly, they feel like the future sneaking into the present. Let's break it down. We've all used assistants before. Google Assistant, Siri, Alexa. They're useful, but also frustrating. You have to ask them to do things. You have to remember commands. And often, they don't understand context. But Pixel 10 introduces something new, Magic Q. Imagine this, you get a text from a friend. Hey, can you call the restaurant and change our reservation? Normally, you'd copy the number, open the dialer, maybe check the calendar for details. Annoying, right? But with Magic Q, the phone already knows what you need. It instantly offers a button to call that specific restaurant. And while you're on the call, your reservation details, date, time, number of people, appear magically on the screen. No switching apps, no searching, no wasted seconds. This isn't just an assistant. It's like having someone sitting beside you, anticipating your next move, always one step ahead. And the best part? Because it runs on the device, all this happens privately. Your data isn't flying off to Google servers. It stays with you. It's a small glimpse of what it feels like when your phone becomes less of a tool and more of a partner. Think about your mornings, alarms, emails, weather checks, scrolling through apps to figure out what's next. It's chaotic. Pixel 10 introduces the Daily Hub, your personal morning briefing. Instead of juggling Gmail, calendar, notes, and random apps, the Daily Hub pulls everything into one simple screen. Weather, meetings, messages, reminders, even the music you were listening to last night. It's like a snapshot of your life, handed to you the moment you wake up. And because it's powered by AI, it doesn't just show you information. It curates what's important. If you have a flight later today, it'll highlight boarding time. If you've been journaling about stress, it might remind you to take a walk. It feels personal, human even. Google isn't just giving you another widget. They're trying to give you clarity in a noisy, distracted world. Now, imagine this. You're in Paris, trying to book a table or in Tokyo, asking for directions. Normally, language barriers create awkward pauses, misunderstandings, maybe even embarrassing moments. Pixel 10 has a feature that feels like magic, live translate for calls. You speak English, the person on the other end speaks Spanish. Instantly, your voice is translated into their language. But here's the twist. It's not just robotic translation. It mimics your voice with your tone, your emotion. So when you sound excited, the translation also sounds excited. When you sound serious, it keeps that tone. This is massive because communication isn't just words, it's feeling. And for the first time, technology is capturing both. And yes, this too happens on the device, which means your conversations stay private. Think about what this means for the world. No more lost in translation, no more walls between people, just pure human connection. We live in a world where moments fly by, 
photos get buried in endless galleries. Thoughts disappear as quickly as they come. Google introduced something quiet but powerful, Pixel Journal. It's a simple app. You write entries, add photos, maybe log your mood. But here's where it gets interesting. The AI begins to notice patterns. It gives you insights into your emotions, your habits, your growth over time. It's like having a mirror, but for your mind. Some people may find it creepy, an AI that can read your emotions, but for others, it could be life-changing. Imagine noticing that every Monday you feel low, or that your happiest days are when you spend time outdoors. Pixel Journal isn't about documenting your life for others. It's about understanding yourself. And in a world where mental health often takes a back seat, maybe that's exactly what we need. No Pixel launch is complete without a camera story, and the Pixel 10 takes it to another level. We've got Coach, an AI that doesn't just help you take photos, it teaches you. Want the perfect sunset shot? It'll suggest the right angle, the best lighting, even the right mode. We've got Auto Best Take, which scans up to 150 frames in a burst photo and automatically ensures everyone looks their best. No more group shots ruined by one person blinking. And then there's ProRes Zoom, up to 100 times zoom, powered by AI. In just 10 seconds, the phone can generate a clear, usable image that feels almost impossible. This isn't just photography. This is AI bending the rules of reality to give us memories the way we want to remember them. And when you think about it, isn't that what cameras have always been about? Not just capturing the truth, but capturing the feeling of a moment. The Pixel 10 isn't just another phone launch. It's a turning point. For years, AI lived somewhere out there, in the cloud, on massive servers controlled by companies. But now, AI lives here, in your hand, in your pocket, in your daily life. From Magic Q to Daily Hub to Live Translate to Pixel Journal to its breathtaking camera features, Google is showing us a future where AI isn't something distant. It's personal, private, human. Of course, it raises questions. Do we want AI this close to us? Do we trust it with our thoughts, our memories, our conversations? These are big questions, but one thing is clear. The Pixel 10 marks the start of a new era, the age of the AI phone. So what do you think? Is this the smartphone revolution we've been waiting for? Or is it a step too far? Would you let an AI journal track your emotions? Would you trust it to translate your heart into another language? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'll be reading every single one. And if you found this video insightful, Smash that like button, subscribe for more deep dives into the world of AI and technology, and share this video with a friend who loves to stay ahead of the curve. Because one thing's for sure, the future is not waiting. It's already here, and it's called the Pixel 10.